So hello everyone. So welcome to helpmath.com. So this time we are using Excel to construct a OGIV chart. Okay, so please look at this example. So as you see, uh, this one, we already covered how to construct the thickness table. And then on this table, we are using the OGIV chart here. So OGIV chart is using midpoint and then the QD frequency. So please watch carefully and then follow me what to do. Okay, so now please highlight midpoint. Then you must uh, click control so then we can also highlight another column. So on your keyboard, uh, click control and highlight the current frequency. Okay, then you can highlight both of them. If you just um, uh, highlight one, and then just go to another column, highlight like that, then this highlight kind of disappears, right? So you must highlight and then click Control key on your keyboard and then highlight another column here. Then you can have two different columns. Okay, and now you just go to insert here, not this data, so insert. And then you can see the chart here. So recommended chart. And you may choose one of this one. Okay. So yeah, this one. And okay. All right, then. So this is the OGIV chart for uh, this data set. And then because there's no dot or anything exists here, so I try to change uh, format a little bit. Or you can also uh, find out maybe different one. But I think I like this is the best. So I'm going to click that. Okay, then based on the midpoint of 9.5, we have frequency 4 and 20.5, 12. 33.5, 26, then keep going, and, and then the last class, 80.8.5, then we got 50 here. So that's we that's how we construct the OGIV chart. So I'm going to just make this name as OGIV chart. Yeah, so that's all how to construct the OGIV chart. So thanks for joining this video, and then I really hope this video helped you to understand constructing or give chart using Excel. Thank you.